<laughs> okay, let's start that again. Loser. Oh, sorry. Three, two, one. We're back! We're back. We are back, baby. What's only been two weeks to you has actually been several months away from our beautiful boat. Last episode, we managed to remove the reflex stove. That is how we do that. Drain the diesel tank. And completely clear out what was left of the original heads. And all while soaking up the rest of the British sun. The months that we've been away has given us some real thinking time as to how to design her. And I'd say a fair few ideas have changed. Keep watching to find out how our small plans have become just slightly bigger. Driving with Ellie. We've been at work four months without a break and it has been hell. It hasn't been that bad, but we're just very <laughs> tired. And we've got a whole week to work on Rummy and we couldn't be more excited. Today we are we're gonna basically strip the boat today, that's the plan. We said we'd leave at like, we'd be up at eight, leave at nine, and it's 11 o'clock, so. But well, that's fine, it's day one, it's always gonna work out like this. <sighs> We're finally back on the boat! Yes! Yeah, we can't wait to get started. We've got so much planned. It's going to be amazing. So what you can see back there will hopefully all be gone by the end of today. Wouldn't that be good? We're going to strip both sides of the saloon, get the water... Oh! Get the other water tank out and clean the bilge. That's the plan for today. So let's crack on. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is empty out the pilot berth of all the rubbish in there, then get everything from the forward cabin into the pilot berth so that we can use the forward cabin to store all of this rubbish. And then have a nap. <laughs> that sounds good. Dreaded seahorse. Not a seahorse. <laughs> You've seen the box go in, now it's for it to come out. It's always me in this position. I'm hooked. I to feel it. Why did we use a box? Maybe the other one first. Oh my god. Do you want to spin it? I can't get to it. 
Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this off. Let me teach you my favourite trick, okay? Yeah. So stand up. Uh, grab the cupboard door with both hands. Oh no. I don't know where this is going. Right. Now give it a yank towards you. Luckily, all the wood is so old on this boat that it really, it doesn't take much for the screws to pop out. There's us thinking we're going to keep all this wood and potentially reuse it, but... We'll see, when we? It'll be good for making templates and stuff. I'd like to find out find a use for them. Me too. Upcycling all that. All that's scary in there, Oh my isn't god, it? that's so scary. Look at that. That is outrageous. <laughs> day so far I have been working on the port side while Ben has been working on the starboard side oh good mess but we are yeah taking everything out um, and as you can see behind me the fore cabin is absolutely chock a block full of all this wood so it's a bit scary and we have completely and utterly committed to redesigning this boat and fitting it with whatever we, what we want to do with it. There's no going back now, basically. We're losing a bit of light and we're gonna go home for some dinner. I'm enjoying our faces right now. Oh, it's, that's hot, hot work, that hot is. Hot, sweaty work. I've, I'm really happy with what we've, we've achieved. Um, and we hopefully can just come back in tomorrow and carry on where we left off. Happy, well done. Smash it. Oh, let's go for fajitas. Woohoo! For fajitas. For <laughs> good day. Really good day, and what an amazing end. You come up from down below, been down there, cutting things apart, and then we just come up. It's like it's really nice temperature. There's just the slightest breath of wind, and it's just an amazing sunset. So, really happy, really good day. So it's about eight in the morning. I'm gonna go for a run. Ben's gonna get the car, he's making some sandwiches and then he's gonna drive to the boat and meet me there um, for the second day of tearing the boat apart. <laughs> yes, very excited, but yeah, let's run. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just making my way now down to the seafront. Well, I'm gonna make my way along the coastal path to our yacht. <laughs> Lovely. done about 3k so not much but I'm definitely gonna do a lot of uh, lifting and get my fitness in today for sure but I wanted to get some steps in and breathe in some fresh air before before being queued up in the boat <laughs>
Another beautiful morning here in Burnham. It is a frosty autumn morning. Ellie is running in because she's a fool. Um, I've got here a bit before her and I managed to convince her that I've got enough tools that we need today to bring the car on the three minute drive. So here we are. I'm gonna go in, we're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday. We're gonna continue ripping out the saloon, and sand that down and then get the floorboards up. I'm swapping out my multi-tool for a reciprocating saw to hopefully pull the cabinets out a lot quicker so we can start sanding. I can see the boat. Okay, not actually the boat, but I can see all the masts over there. Wait, about half a K to go, I reckon. Oh, here we are. I have got the reciprocating saw and today's lunch. Ellie's just around the corner. She'll be running over in a sec. I will drop down the power to her so when she arrives, she can just plug us in. And I don't have to come back down the ladder. It's waving. Made it. She's the winner. Nice one. Do us a favor though. Okay. Plug power in. <laughs> I've made it. I have got oh, almost 6k in the bag. Woo, good start to the day. And uh, I just plugged the power in. So now work begins. Oh, so sunny. Yes. extremely horrible. We've got a completely failed chain plate that is practically pulling up through the deck and it's just made my heart sink a lot. <sighs> Not very happy at all. Now we were planning on taking the mast down anyway. We're gonna have to go take all, all the chain plates and make sure they're all fine but it is quite scary seeing how damaged and corroded it is and to think that you know this has been holding the mast up. This wasn't picked up on the survey or anything, obviously, because this is, I think this is quite serious. So we'll have to get it sorted. Okay, you can see the chain plate. This is the support on this side. This is completely corroded. I don't know if you can see what it's done to the deck up here. Obviously, I can get my finger in that gap. This is the bottom skin. So it's done some serious, serious damage. I'm not sure how I've missed it until this point, but it is what it is, and we'll just have to deal with it. We're always going to find things we weren't happy to, to find. Yeah, there, we? this is true. Because that is already on our jobs list to do anyway, we were going to look at the chain plates, put the mass down, because it's all part of the like rigging inspection. So I'd probably remount them anyway. There's no way you could have even seen that though, is there? Is that, that was no, that, that, no that, had, that had a bit of wood over it, so that's why it wasn't seen. Yeah, no, it's fine. And it is something, you know, there's going to be more of these surprises. This is kind of our first major one. So it's kind of a bit of a kick in the balls. Like, yeah. a kick in the teeth. It's all been relatively plain sailing from here, excuse the pun. Yeah. I mean, I say that, we, we are doing the easy bit, which is ripping everything out. It's, putting, yeah. it's putting it in that's going to be the hard stuff. Here's right. an idiot's guide to uh, DIYing a boat. <sighs> We've got one more little piece to take off this side and then that's as far as we can go cutting. So that's going to be sanding the rest off but before we do that we'll come over to this side and the same there and then we'll just have a big old sanding party. Hooray! Ellie's here too. Get 
been working for about two hours now, so just taking a bit of a break. Man, it's hard work. Getting all that wood off the side of the hull is just horrible. But I've got one side done. I'm gonna get started on the other side now. Well, in 10 minutes, once I've had a bit of fresh air. Very busy in the yard today. Lots of crane action, but just looking out on that water, my word. It looks absolutely glorious and all I want to be is out there sailing. So it just gives us a bit more drive to get going with these projects. Screw is so old that like they're just breaking the metal. I give up, I'm not very good at DIY. <laughs> That's the spirit. How are you getting on? I'm getting on really well. I think I've got all of one side of the saloon out. We're very nearly getting the other side out, then we can get the floors up and we can clean the bilge, do a good old sand and a clean. Then we started taking the galley out, the old galley out, so we're getting ahead, we're further ahead than I thought we'd be. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is good. So I'm going to crack on and get a little bit of wood out. So close. No one eats until this thing's off, all right? All right. All snapped off inside. Okay, we're losing light, come on. Come on. Okay, that side's off. <laughs> I'm allowing everyone to take a dinner break. Thanks take a break, take it off. Today. Thank you. Oh, so itchy. Are you? Ooh, fiberglass fibers that uh, just work their way in. Yeah. Everything's out. Yeah, babe. <sighs> we, can, we can eat. I don't know how to, I completely missed the sunset. No, it wasn't a good sunset. Was it not? Don't worry, I've been, I've been dealing with life around you doing all of that, so... That's good. Um, <laughs> That's it for day two! So all we need to do tomorrow is have a little hoover, get all the pipes out, empty the bilge, and then we can do sanding and cleaning. Yeah. Which is really positive. I thought we were further behind, but I think we're further ahead. I think, yeah, you've done a lot on the current galley, which is we weren't expecting to start today, so that's no. good. I just went in with that it one. It is taking a while. We did stop for a long lunch. We won't do that I think tomorrow. it was half an hour lunch. Thank you very much for watching again. Um, we hope to see you next time where we'll just continue on from where we are now yeah. and hopefully have a good old tidy. And um, any suggestions, please put in the comments below. And if you like the episode, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Should we do together thumbs up? My arm's hurting, that's okay. Come on, come on. <laughs>